Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I carry in my bag, in specific, my work bag. And this is kind of a two for one video because I have a handbag within my work bag. Um, today's the first day of spring break, so yesterday after work, I actually met up with some friends to go celebrate, so we went for happy hour, and that's why I have a handbag in here to show you. So you're getting a two for one, really. But the handbag for work that I've been using and I've been loving, is this one by Kuyana? This is the easy tote in the small size. It comes in the small and the medium, or small and the large. I can't remember what color this is, but I'll link it down below. I love this handbag. It is so light. It is so soft. It is so comfortable. You can see it's such a smushy handbag, really. Um, it just sort of molds to your body, but that also means that it opens up and can have more space because it's not so rigid. So I love it because it has the long handle strap here, which fits perfectly under um, bigger bigger coats for um, the winter time, but also if you have bulkier sweaters, this one isn't heavy at all, or this one isn't a big sweater, but you have that option, or you also have the shorter handle option here. So usually when I grab my handbag out of my car, I grab it like this, and then I can throw it on my shoulder, or if you just like to carry it um, by the hand or in the crook of your arm, you do also, or the crook of your shoulder, you have that option, but I have been loving this one, would highly recommend it. Um, it's been really durable. I know some people had issues and they had asked me if the, sh like the strap breaks off. Nope, and I load this up. This is pretty heavy right now because like I said, this is my work bag, um, but it's very solid, very durable. I haven't had any issues because the leather is pebbled as well, it's very durable. So I'll show you the handbag that in a moment that I took with me for happy hour. But let me show you really quickly what I have in this bag. So um, in here, I have my go-getter pouch by Lululemon. This is not new. I have two different sizes in here. I have the larger size and then the smaller size. The larger size, I keep um, my wallet and my keys and everything, but those are currently in this one here because I was using it. But I also have, you know, a maxi pad in there, but um, I keep my larger, the largest, no, the medium size of my Kirigami in here. I put money in here folded just because it doesn't fit in my little card holder. And then I have the smaller size here, which has a bunch of gift cards in there. So that's basically all that I keep um, in this little pouch. And like I said, typically I also have my wallet in here. This is my, do you see my clay? If you could feel this. This is so heavy, it's packed to the brim with a whole bunch of coins. And then I just also have two of my favorite lip glosses. This one by Gwen Stefani, um, it's in the color Candy. And this one, which is the Tarte Maracuja, which I love these. I feel like people either love or hate these kind of sticks, the push-up sticks, but I love them. So the Go Getter Pouch, highly recommend. I've washed these, I just, I've thrown them in the washer. I know it says not to do that, but I always do it. And this one is my makeup bag. So I just keep like setting spray, some extra powder, um, blush, and bronzer in there. So I love these go-getter pouches, highly recommend it. I'll link everything down below that I'm showing you as well. And then that's basically the brunt of my bag. I also have this little pill box, which is super dirty, um, that I got off Amazon. I will link my Amazon storefront, but I don't have a lot of pills in here. I just have Tylenol, Tylenol Cold, Gravel, and Claritin, but it has tons of extra spots as well to put other sort of pills or whatever medication you might have. I don't know what's falling off this. I feel like it's cheese like from nachos. I must have been eating nachos that spilled in my bag, which is really gross. <laughs> and then I also have a little Ziploc bag with some snacks that I always keep. Um, just because I never get a chance to eat at work because so I'm so busy. So, Fiber One Brownie that's feeling a little bit crushed up. Pulperindo, you know I already love these. Some Sour Patch Kids, some Purdy's Chocolate, and then these little white things there, those are hand wipes that I just like to keep. I always keep hand wipes in my car, but for some reason if I'm out um, and I need them, I have some there. And left, I just have work keys and some mints and that is basically it and yeah that's it and then a hair 
baubles. I would highly recommend this. You can see when it's empty too, I just have my keys and stuff in there. It does keep its shape even though it is a really soft handbag. I don't have any bag organizer or anything in there. There's also one large pocket, but I absolutely love this, would highly recommend it. Like I said, I have the small size and it really isn't that small. I feel like the larger size could be used for traveling, but the small size has been perfect. And I know that it doesn't have any closure here, but because it's so soft and malleable and it just kind of goes against the body, I never worry about security issues with it. Um, so if I go out and get groceries after, I never really worry because my shoulder's always pushed against or my arms already pushed against it. The handbag that I used for happy hour yesterday is by the brand Open. As you can see there, this is brand new. This was kindly gifted to me um, and I'm so excited. I have seen this before. I follow Jamie Page. Um, she's another Canadian influencer or not influencer, but YouTuber, I should say. And she had shown this on her channel, on her video of um, what she was influenced to buy, which inspired me to make mine. I did reference her in that video. So definitely go and check her out. But she showed this handbag, really popular because Taylor Swift has worn it, Selena Gomez has worn it, one of the Jenners has worn it. I think it's Kylie, or maybe it's Kendall. I don't know, but it's pretty popular. But this is their Nirvana bag by Open. It is so cute. Um, they recently changed it up. I believe that this one is leather. They ha used to make it in um, like a, a vegan leather, but this one is now made with leather and they are certified by the leather working group as well. So they, um, the leather that they use is sustainable, which is nice. But I chose the black color and it is beautiful. It does have gold hardware, but look at the detail on the handle. It is braided as you can kind of see there, and then it's wrapped here at the end just to make it sort of extra secure on both sides. And then it just has the gold detailing there. It just says open there as well as on the little zipper pull. And then this is removable. This is like a little charm. And then it says open on both sides there. So it's very minimal. It's super cute. As you can kind of see, yesterday I was wearing my Babaton slouch coat, but in the summer uh, or the spring kind of fabric, so it's really light. And so I definitely had enough room to put this bag um, over top of it. But look how cute it is with its little charm here. It's adorable. I love the little slouch that it kind of gets there. Can you kind of see that? It is so cute. <laughs> so let me show you what I have in here because it actually fit all my essentials, even though it's so small. Like she is cute and tiny and small, but she fits everything. So I had my Gucci little um, key holder in here. So I have my work, no, not my work keys. I have my car key as well as the fob for my new building. So that's why it's so um, kind of puffed up. And then I have two perfumes. I have my um, Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as this one by Comptur Sud Pacific. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I always keep those two in there. And then I have just two other things that I needed. And um, one other thing. Oh, because I had my phone in there yesterday too. I have a uh, Nude Sticks lip balm, which I got from my FabFit Fun Box. And then I took this Buxom lip gloss. I think this is in White Russian. Yeah, this has been around forever. I mean, when I started watching YouTube, everyone was wearing this Buxom lip gloss in White Russian. And then I was using this little Louis Vuitton uh, card case from the men's side. They no longer have this anymore, unfortunately, but this is a really good little card holder especially when you're using a small handbag like this. The opening is really easy and nice and smooth, and it's actually fairly large, as you can kind of see. Well, the handle's in the way, but it opens up fairly wide as well because the leather is so soft and smushy. So just note that your phone will also fit in there. Um, there is one pocket in the back, but it's really small. I think yesterday I had my lip balms in there, but they must have just came out. But there is a small little pocket on the inside. So, um, I love it. I just think it's adorable for the price point. I mean, under $500 Canadian, it is such a beautiful handbag. There's so many different colors. So definitely go and check out Open. They have a ton of different styles as well. Um, but I just love it. And it fits so comfortably under the arm too. Or you can carry it like this. Or I see a lot of the 
celebrities carrying it just by the hand like that but there is it's just it's cute it's so cute so i will link everything down below definitely go and check out open also go and check out kuyana as well highly recommend these two handbags like i said i feel like they're from lesser known brands but again you're getting really good high quality leather handbags at a really nice price point so if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will see you in my next video bye